The first thing is uh, when you're working in Media Composer, whether you're on a Mac or PC, you have bins and windows that are on top of one another. And editors said, we don't like that. So what you'll first see is you have a paneled UI. Ooh. <laughs> it's the little things. So you can actually lock your windows, your timeline, your composer window, your bins, into a single, now I'm only on a single monitor. If you do have two monitors, most edit bays have a bin monitor and an edit monitor. If you attach a second monitor on there, your canvas will actually extend across both uh, monitors and you'll be able to customize and lock your panels uh, across two displays or three displays, whatever you have. But we also don't want to limit people because there are people that don't mind their bins and windows on top of one another. So I can actually grab this bin and pull it out and this bin can be floating. So you can float your bins and windows if you want, or you can take that and drop it back into your bin. So this is just a simple layout. Your bin, your bin container, a new term here, a bin container is in the upper left at the uh, default. Your source and record are right here, so your source and your record window and your timeline. But if you look at the far right, I'll zoom in, these are your workspaces. So you now have instant access to go into your edit, color, effects, or audio workspace just by a simple click. And the windows will change depending on what you're selecting and going into. Because every Media Composer editor knows if you want to go into your different display, you have to go windows, workspaces, and pull it down here, or map it to a key. So for somebody who's never seen Media Composer before, you now have instant access to your workspace is right here. But the seasoned media composer editor might say, that's real estate. That's some part of the window that I don't want to give up. So if I right click, you'll see that I can change it to a simple icon or I could even hide that workspace area. But now if I go to the upper right, I can pull down and open up my workspaces right there. So close the workspace, open the workspace, it's up to you show workspace bar and it brings back what I have right there. And if you customize your workspaces and save them, you'll start populating the extra region down here with all of your new workspaces. So you can create them, again you can map them to your keys if you want, and you can put them down the left side, or the right side of your display, of your uh, layout. 